Well, I think they're being short because they can't get their story straight about a secret million dollar fund that was administered by the same guy who wrote a secret $90,000 check to get a rule breaking senator to keep quiet. Now, the member for Ajax actually went on national television and said, quote, uh, we don't think it would serve the public interest very well to have checks being shown in front of television cameras. Oh, oh. Why not? <laughs> if they have nothing to hide, why won't they cough up the check and be clean with Canadians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of Transport. Mr. Speaker, when the Conservative Party of Canada has expenses, including those of its leader, for partisan purposes, it is paid by the Conservative Party of Canada. In the NDP, they say that they too have a party uh, function to cover costs of this nature. I don't know if they, uh, Mr. Speaker, if they want to uh, stand up in the House of Commons and demand an inquiry into their own party financing. But, Mr. Speaker, this is the practice of every party and has been for decades. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Poor old guy over there looked like his battery was running down on him. <laughs> Speaking of lowering the ethical bar, the Liberal leader spent the weekend defending the abuse of public trust in the Senate. He mollycoddled Matt Carb, and then he said that Patrick Brazo's actions were, quote, an honest mistake. Now, not to be outdone, Conservative Senator Tchatchek was able to lower the bar even further. He favorably compared the Conservative Senate scandal to the Liberal sponsorship scandal, saying, quote, well, the Liberal Party survived. We will survive. So, is this the new Conservative yardstick for measuring accountability? Survival? <laughs> Honourable Minister of Canadian Heritage. Well, again, uh, again, Mr. Speaker, you know the Conservative yardstick for moving forward and going into the 2015 campaign is our demonstrated record of results for Canadians, including one million new jobs across this country. Yeah. of the Senate, Canadians do want action. They want a party that puts forward a serious plan. So we have legislation before the House that the NDP has no plan whatsoever that they've put before Parliament. All rhetoric, no action. But again, at the end of the day, Canadians know that there's only one party in this country that has consistently delivered good news and solid results for all Canadians. It's the Conservative Party of Canada. Our record of one million new jobs, the lowest taxes in 50 years, is getting it done. Yeah.